Today, I am invited to talk about a topic that is very personal to me. Nurturing impact through circle of trust. Growing up in Vietnam, a nation that fought fiercely for its independence, I have witnessed how these circles can trom transform lives. The fight for the independence of Vietnam wasn't just a historical event. It was deeply intimate and collective effort that brought people from across all walks of life together during those critical times. Ho Chi Minh, the guy, the second guy from the left, and other nationalists rely on tight-knit circles of trust to organize, strategize, and support one another in the pursuit of the common goal called freedom from the colonial rule. Through these circles, not just inside the country, within the country, the bonds were forged that transcended even geographical barriers. You can see people from France here and many countries, progressive people from around the world were united to support us. They foster, help us to foster solidarity, resilience and a collective sense of purpose that propel the independence movement that to for movement forward against all odds, ultimately leading to Vietnam's declaration of independence in 1945. It has been 70 years. Can I have a round of applause for the Vietnam's independence? Now, I'm not just here talking about Vietnam independence that happened 70 years ago. Let's broaden our lens to the global impact of circle of trust on transformative movements in more recent times. In the morning, we talk about economy of communion, new gen and paradigm and many more. These circles, you see the, pre the presenters as one of the members of the circle of trust, right? These circles serve as a vibrant, vibrant hubs for change where individuals come together to exchange ideas, extend support, and unite in the pursuit of shared aspirations. Whether it's the breaking of change, the change of intergenerational offending, raise of hand if some of you were in tears when Joshua was sharing about the stories of the mothers of seven kids. Yes, I was in tears. It's about reshaping parenting norms by paradigm or championing social responsibility in business, the culture of giving. This circle of trust act as beacons of hope, provoking, igniting all of us as the movements and driving us towards profound and lasting progress, real impact in everyone, every neighborhood around us. But now you ask, what exactly defines a circle of trust? Drawing from Dr. Paolo Frizzi, excuse me, from friends, uh, to friends from Italy, I'm trying to speak Italian, Dr. Paolo Frizzi, wisdom, who stated, trust is personal and local. It starts from a personal relationship. We build trust through our life and through our own example as a person. How many of you agree with me in this? Yes, all of us, except for those who don't. I am one of you. I believe a circle of trust is built on personal connections 
where trust is nurtured through individual interactions and life experiences. It's the authenticity and reliability demonstrated by each member within the circle that forms the foundation of trust. Creating a safe, safe, the key word is safe, and supportive environment where members can rely on each other and grow together. It sounds like it's just a definition, right? In the dictionary, is it real? May I now have your permission to share a personal story that illustrates the power of trust within the core teams to drive positive trend? May I have your permission? May I have your permission? Yes, thank you. Every Friday, like clockwork, a group of us gathers virtually for what is we call consular circle. We share our joys, our struggles, and everything in between. In this space, emotions flow, flow freely, unfiltered and raw, crying, tears, frustrations, or you can name it. But building trust and relationship like this takes time. As you can see, it requires consistency, dedication, and above all, making time for one another, like what we are doing for each other right now. Pay attention to me. <laughs> As a facilitator of these consular circles, I have witnessed firsthand the transformative power of this circle of trust, these gatherings. Each week, we come together and open up to one another. The bonds between us grow stronger. We learn to trust, to be open, to open up, to empathize, and to support one another through life's ups and downs. But it's not just a first, but it's not just the facilitator that can benefit from this impact this impact of uh, this circle, I've been also a recipient and a beneficiary. A beneficiary. There was a, last, there was a time exactly last year when I was on a brink of burnout, feeling overwhelmed and lost. But through the love and acceptance of everyone in this circle of trust, I found my hope again. I felt embraced, uplifted, and reminded that I'm not alone. And this is my circle of trust, everyone. This is my circle of trust. Thank you. So how do we nurture this circle of trust? In our experience, working with our own organization consulates, as well as organizations across 23 nations to sustain movements, it starts with establishing clear norms and guidelines, meaning create a safe space, no judgment. It requires the skills to foster a safe and inclusive space for everyone to be all to be able to openly express, be vulnerable without the fear of judgment. I felt it, and I believe a lot of our consulates felt it too. And most importantly is the ability to cultivate trust within the core team is key. Because when trust tries within the core teams, regardless of the size, three, four, five, even two, it radiates outward, amplifying the impact and effectiveness of our movement. I have been able to talk to a lot of you here during this summit. A lot of us are change makers. And these essential tips, skills, experiences are exactly 
what our Creative Changemaker School and its theories aim to share. Feel free to scan the QR code or talk to our team at the booth over there because this series is to ensure every change maker like us, like me, to build and sustain our own circle of trust. As we reflect on the profound impact of circle of trust, I invite you to join me in giving a round of applause to these circles that have the power to change lives and make history. The circles that we have met today and a lot more beyond this room. May I have a round of applause, please? With that, may we all have our circle of trust at home, at work, and in the boardrooms. Thank you.